Everest is a climbing movie. It's a true story about a disaster that happened in 1996. The trailer makes it look like it's gonna be a horror movie, like like The Grey, perhaps. The Grey's awesome, you should see The Grey. But it really isn't at all. The music evokes a much more adventure type movie. And there's some, and the shots too of the, the mountain, oh man. There's some Lord of the Rings-esque mountain shots with some very grandiose music. Jason Clark, who is good, I, you, you are rooting for you don't you hate it don't you hate it when reviewers say you as in like they know what you're going to expect into a movie not that i'm for the thing oh reviews are just an opinion in my opinion but like it's just so arrogant to say you i'm gonna start saying i in reviews now that makes more sense doesn't it i was rooting for jason clark josh brolin jake gyllenhaal kieran knightley and they all have some really nice beards that made me very very jealous i found a channel on youtube called the beard baron it's awesome. And everybody does good. There isn't really a standout performance. I mean, Kira Knightley's barely used. She's somebody's wife at home. She see a couple of shots of talking to them on the phone. She's barely in the movie. But initially, it seems like it's gonna be like this movie, like, oh, it's gonna set everybody up. It's gonna show you their lives to make you care about them. And that is usually very ineffective. For a horror movie, you're like, can we just skip that and go straight to what we wanna see? But this isn't a horror movie at all. So it felt like, cause I went to film on, I was a boy scout. Back before, you know, it was the Gay Scouts of America. And they go through the process. It shows them at the airport, and then they're, like, in a little meeting room, and their tour guide's explaining to them what's going to be going on. And then they take a little bus ride through some third world country. And they do a couple practice climbs before the actual, like, big climb. It was like base camps, like, this is straight up what I did. I like that aspect of it. These aren't characters, you're just waiting for them to die. It's a slower, more definitely realistic look at, like, climbing a mountain. It's all about the altitude, and, like, you go too high, your body's not supposed to handle it. Not only is it really cold, but, like, the air is thinner. It's like, it's, you can't breathe. They need oxygen mask. It's a beautiful movie too. There are some really, really nice shots of like th those wide open valleys, a bunch of pine trees on them and there's a bridge going across there. And while they did not film on the summit of Everest, that's pretty much impossible. They, in any way, shape or form, you can't even get a helicopter up there. The air is too thin. The blades will not catch. If you look at pictures of the summit, it's like this just gradual kind of sloping curve rather than this. And however they did it, it, it looked really good. It's very convincing. But they did actually film, like, at, along the bottoms of some of these mountains, so the actors did do some climbing. And, and I know they actually filmed, like, in storms with blizzards, like, hitting people in the face, so that wasn't CGI. So there's, there's a couple different treks all heading up the mountain at the same time, and they kind of butt heads a bit. The South African one, those guys are assholes. Jason Clark was talking to them, trying to get them to get a schedule together. He's like, we cannot be waiting for you to cross the ladders. And they're like, oh, we'll climb the mountain when we want to climb the mountain. I'm like, you dick. I wish somebody else had flipped out. and was like, you asshole. That's how you get people killed. A couple things that didn't quite make sense to me is where sometimes they have to like huddle down in the snow to like wait out a storm or something. And they're like, their faces are exposed. I'm like, can you not like pull your hood up over your face or put a ski mask on or something like, like it's gotta be like the coldest place on earth. And they're sitting there in the snow going to sleep with their faces exposed in the wind. I'm like, really? And Jason Clark's the, the guy, he's all about safety, safety, safety. I'm gonna get you up and down that mountain alive. They have a very small window to get to the top because it's there's a storm coming. And there's a guy who was lagging behind and he's like, come on, man, it's, it's, it's too late, we gotta go. I'm like, He's practically at the summit. It's right there. It's like, I, I, that made sense because I thought he had to go through like this whole other like uh, Hillary step thing, but he was practically at the top. I'm like, I'm like, that's unfair. Just let the guy get to the top. And I think it's ridiculous that it cost him $65,000 to climb Everest. That's absurd. Where is all that money going? And something that sucked is the trailer showed him getting to the summit. And I'm like, that's like the climax of the movie. That's the whole point. That's the goal. The journey to get to the top. Why would you show that in the trailer? And then it makes it seem like, oh, getting up is the easy part. It's getting back down. That's going to be the horror movie part. Tra it's, a, it's a terrible trailer, which is pretty much par for the course this day in cinema. But it's a good movie. It's a beautifully shot movie. While it's a better movie than Black Mass, Black Mass had better acting, and I wanted to, and I liked it a little more than Black Mass. I would have given it a higher score than Black Mass, but there's some sappy stuff at the end that, like, feels obligatory because it's a true story and like yeah i get it they're real people real people actually died but i'm sorry that happens all the time why should i feel bad for you and they do the like the real picture thing i, I don't like that i find that annoying that brought it down a bit for me but everest is still a good movie you should probably see it in imax the sound is really good so guys i gotta say everest is worth a seven out of ten I don't know if you've noticed, but there's uh, some, uh, some of the other playlists on my channel, so like on my homepage it wouldn't show up, but if you click the playlist tab, I have one called Brutal Metal, even though it's not all brutal, there's some pretty like weaker metal in there. I, that's 
That's a metal playlist. If you're into metal, I'm gonna be continually updating it, just putting songs on there if you wanna check it out. I might start doing that with other genres too. Thank you for watching. I'm Wesley Thompson. Like, share, subscribe, and comment if you'd like to become a member of the Crusade and help destroy the evil that plagues this earth as we prepare this place for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.